welcome to Bruce's Shorts. My name is Bruce Devlin, I'm the Chief Technology Officer of Amberfin, and today we're going to talk about JPEG 2000. What is JPEG 2000? Is it the same as JPEG? Well, no, it isn't actually. JPEG was originally founded by the Joint Photographic Expert Group. That group looked at how do you compress still images to squish them down so that you can do things like send them via email, put them on a web page, have high resolution digital photography. In 2000, the specification was revised to create JPEG 2000. Now, JPEG was originally based around a thing called the discrete cosine transform, much the same way that MPEG is based. And what that does is it chops the picture up into little blocks and then um, squishes them. JPEG 2000, however, works quite differently. What JPEG 2000 does is it takes the big picture and it filters it into a smaller picture and then filters that into a smaller picture and then filters that into a smaller picture again. And the way it codes it is to look at the difference between the information in that little picture and the scaled up version of that picture. What's the difference between that and the bigger picture? And what's the difference between the scaled up version of that and the next bigger picture? And the scaled up version of that and the next bigger picture? And because there isn't much difference between all of those pictures, you get very efficient compression. There's always a downside. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Well, unless you end up in the BA lounge on someone else's ticket. With J2K, you end up with more computation for the same sorts of compression efficiency. However, you do get better compression efficiency with JPEG 2000. So it swings in random pants. Top compression efficiency, but more computation required. We love J2K. I'm Bruce Devlin. This is one of Bruce's shorts. Thank you very much for watching.